the magnetic effect of a magnet was observed that when suspended <coughs> sorry when suspended it orients itself always in a given direction this was a new kind of stone that was found out <coughs> sorry called magnetite it was found normally in asia minor area which is around the east and uh, eastern uh, you know northeast part of the turkey ke aas paas mein that is that area is called asia minor you would know better you know charts uh, of the world better than me so asia minor that area this was a new kind of stone which was found as the story goes ki ek uh, एरिया जो था जो भेड़ कुछ चराता है उसकी लाठी में कुछ लोहे का लगा हुआ था उसने पकड़ लिया तो भूत भूत करके भाग गया बाद में डिस्कवरी वगैरह हुई तो दैट दे कॉल्ड मैग्नेटाइट द स्टोन वाज कॉल्ड मैग्नेटाइट द वर्ड मैग्नेट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम दैट मैग्नेटाइट इट इट इज बेसिकली एन ऑक्साइड ऑफ आयरन which is having this stone is having lot of it is iron ore basically ek tarike ka but a stone is considered lot of iron content in it <clears throat> lot many studies took place after that so in due course it was observed that this particular magnet shows a special kind of behavior as we said when it is suspended or hung over a pivot it always comes and settles down in a given direction hila dijiye isko idhar udhar jata hai idhar udhar jata hai baad mein wo aake yun set ho jata so this magnetic behavior lot of studies took place and it was attributed that this magnet is showing a behavior because of certain property which is now called magnetism of the substance why one thing is a magnet other thing is not a magnet why a piece of iron is a magnet a piece of iron is not a magnet what was the difference so <clears throat> although it hasn't been understood to the fullest extent but as far as we understand and to quite a bit both minute level pe na bhi ho this is observed that current and magnetism electricity and magnetism are interlinked wherever there is electricity which we know is basically motion of charges charges in motion is electricity whenever there is electricity <clears throat> there is this property of magnetism the magnetism says that there is an area of influence around the object if this is a magnet then around this there is an area where it is exerting a force of some kind this force has given kind of nature and it also interacts with another objects area of magnetic field so if there are two objects in dono ke beech mein interaction hoti <clears throat> so when this was observed that they are interacting with each other and it was also seen that a single piece of magnet is also interacting with something else we don't know what but it is suspending like this all the time in the same direction so it was inferred that earth is also showing this kind of magnetism and there is an interaction between earth's magnetism and the suspended magnetism so the idea took place and to define the properties to put 
all the studies in perspective in a sequential manner a lot of studies were done <clears throat> but then from there this is the starting point of the compass magnetic compass the earliest magnetic compass was just a magnet in the form of a needle which was suspended in a case glass ke sath aur usme ek needle tha jo ki idhar udhar ghum sakta hai aap kabhi rakhiye to wo needle ek khas direction mein point karta hai in a given direction we all know now that there is a north pole there is a south pole of the magnet this magnetism is necessary to be understood first that we have said one statement that i gave that electricity and magnetism is interlinked phenomena so it cannot be separate how why we don't know but observation is that whenever there is electricity there will be magnet now the problem is that if we have a piece of iron or steel it is not showing magnetic behavior and then it is showing magnetic behavior where is the electricity then where did this electricity come from it is not a magnet i can understand no electricity but then it is also a magnet now what happened because of which this became a magnet there is no electricity i don't see any moving charges but yes <clears throat> if we look minutely as we know atoms are composed of a nucleus and there are electrons revolving around the nucleus the nucleus is a very small entity as compared to the atom agar atom is kamre ke bada jaisa hai 20 by 20 feet ka kamra ho agar ye atom hai to the nucleus is the size of a pinhead that's the difference of the or ratio of the nucleus to the size of the atom so they are revolving around the nucleus the electrons they are not only revolving around the nucleus but they are also spinning on their axis like the very li much like the motion of the earth earth is rotating on its axis 24 hours a day i have put 24 hours my one rotation at the same time it is going around the sun the nucleus in 365 days same kind of planetary motion is also shown by the electrons that means there is a charge which is spinning and there is a charge which is moving about the nucleus that means there is charge in motion so every atom is a small magnet or a molecule where there are there is a composition of nucleus and the electrons are revolving around two nucleuses two atoms ke upar mein wo ghum so after all there is electricity not going from one place to the other but there itself each molecule each atom is acting like a magnet but then why is it not a magnet agar atom to hai molecules to hai but then it is not a magnet why it's because the spinning of the electrons and their motions and the orientations is all deranged half hazard koi idhar south north idhar south north udhar south north udhar south north sab bikhre pade hue hain aisa ki net effect of magnetism is neutralized and is zero and so this is not a magnet it is not showing any magnetic behavior although inside each one of them is a tiny magnet small magnet but 
overall we don't see any kind of magnetism around this piece of metal because net magnetism is zero but if you align each one of them in the given direction all the magnets the tiny magnets called magnetic dipoles if they are all arranged in same direction sab ka effect cascade hota hai ek dusre se judta jata hai all the atoms when aligned in a given orientation they all cascade the magnet effect is all getting added up the whole of the material assumes or acquires magnetism in which the whole of the thing becomes positive and negative end or north and south end and there is this magnetic effect which is also coming out of the material in the surrounding areas and so now we call this to be a magnet only difference was arrangement of the small tiny magnets either they were arranged they were not arranged when they were not arranged haphazard it was not a magnet when arranged this is a magnet how to arrange it we know from common sense our understanding uh, passing electricity or bringing towards a mag close to a magnet passing electricity is one method otherwise we know from our experience from our understanding that the magnet and magnet interacts so if i bring another magnet close to it if i bring another magnet close to it there is magnetic field around this magnet and these magnets are now placed in the magnetic field of the guest magnet maine ek magnet ko yahan pe leke aaya main iska ek field hai is field mein ye chote chote magnets aa gaye all of them try to arrange themselves as per the magnetic field of that and in doing so they get aligned in one direction so the small magnets are getting aligned when we are bringing another magnetic field or we are taking this in the magnetic field of other magnet then all of them interact with that magnetism and get magnetized the magnetism is induced in this metal mohit one correction when we when you said that by passing current we can align them partly true partly not true why because when we al- apply the current the charges start moving so there is a magnetism which is created because of this moving charge but that may not be that this jab current hata liya to ye magnet rahi ye koi zaruri nahi a copper cannot be magnetized a copper cannot be a magnet but you when you pass a current through this this copper will show magnetic effect why not because copper but because of the flowing charge you can pass through current through anything anything which is conductive of conductor of electricity that will show magnetic effect but that will not turn this material into magnet for example silver current passing yes magnetism showing yes getting converted into magnet no copper conductor of electricity yes current passing yes showing magnetism yes getting converted into magnet no so there are some materials which can be converted into magnets and there are some materials which cannot be converted into magnet so on the basis of magnetic behavior of materials we can call some materials or we can categorize the materials 
ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक बिहेवियर सबको कैटेगराइज करने के अलग अलग तरीके हो सकते हैं हमने ह्यूमंस को सोसाइटीज को अलग अलग किया कैटेगराइज तो कलर से कर दिया एक तरीके से कलर ये गोरा ये काला ये बीच का ये गेहूं वगैरह वगैरह दूसरा कैटेगरी हाइट से ले लेंगे तो ये हाइट इसका ज्यादा है इसका कम है इसका मीडियम है वगैरह वगैरह हेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मैग्नेटिज मैग्नेटिक बिहेवियर ऑफ सबस्टांसेस सो देर आर सबस्टांसेस विच आर कॉल्ड फेरोमैग्नेटिक मटीरियल फेरोमैग्नेटिक मटीरियल आर दो थिंग्स दो सबस्टांसेस विच कैन बी मैग्नेटाइज किट विच कैन इंटरैक्ट विथ मैग्नेटिज्म इन अ स्ट्रॉन्ग मैन कोबाल्ट निकल आयरन दीज आर फेरोमैग्नेटिक मटीरियल दैट मीन्स दे कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू मैग्नेट और वेन ब्रॉट नियर द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दे विल शो इंटरक्शन दे विल शो सम काइंड ऑफ रिएक्शन टू द मैग्नेटिक देन वी हैव पैरा मैग्नेटिक मटीरियल दे ऑल्सो इंटरक्ट विथ मैग्नेटिज्म बट नॉट एज गुड एज द फेरो मैग्नेटिक मटीरियल आप यहाँ पे एक चुंबक रखते हैं मैग्नेट यहाँ पे कील लाते हैं तो झटके से खींच लेता है फेरो मैग्नेटिक मटीरियल बट इफ यू ब्रिंग अनदर सबस्टांस देर विल बी मोशन यस फ्रॉम वीकर फील्ड एरिया टू स्मॉलर आई मीन स्ट्रॉगर एरिया इट विल कम बट इट विल बी वेरी वेरी वीक मूवमेंट सो देर इज इंटरक्शन यस बट इट इज गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड very slowly there is very very mild effect of magnetism on this substance then there are other materials which also interact but they go from strong area to weak area they get repelled so we have three type of magnetic materials ferromagnetic materials param magnetic materials and diamagnetic materials three kinds of materials <clears throat> then we talk about the initial part of the class we started that when suspended this magnet used to orient itself in a given direction of course we know you are smart people the earth also has magnetic properties how is it attributed how is it coming about we said electricity electricity is a magnetism aata hai magnetism ke liye ferromagnetic material chahiye ye to mitti pani sab hai patthar bhi hai loha lakad bhi hai bhitar mein all kinds of minerals are there oil bhi hai sab hai then also how it is becoming like that how it is showing magnetic effect as we go down deep and deep the core is there which is in the molten state iron is in a molten state at the core earth is spinning this molten state of liquid iron is kind of having a relative motion between this the outer is moving like this with respect to that the core is moving in a different way and there is potential differences all created so it basically creates electricity inside the earth lot of electricity is being produced and circulate all that put together creates a strong magnetic field around the earth so earth is a big magnet and why this suspended magnet was behaving like that getting oriented in a given direction was because of the earth's magnet it was aligning itself with earth's magnetism so when we go to the compass actually when we reach there 
we need need to have a follow i mean thorough background knowledge of magnetism what is magnetism what are the kinds of materials that we have for magnetism once created what is the retentivity of the magnetism how long it will retain and so many other things magnetism se related some of the key terms and definitions we must know like field strength magnetic flux flux density dipole moment magnetic dipole moment etc etc so not necessarily that that everything will be asked in the exam but then to talk about what we are talking about in the compass we need to have a background knowledge agar ye sab pata nahi hai mujhko तो मैं वहां जो बात कर रहा हूं दैट विल बी रिपीटिंग समथिंग विच आई हैव हर्ड समवेयर बट इफ यू नो ऑल दिस व्हाट आई स्पीक लेटर इज समथिंग दैट आई नो एंड दैट इज व्हाट आई एम टॉकिंग सो बैकग्राउंड नॉलेज इज नेसेसरी सो सम ऑफ दिस डिस्कशन दैट वी हैव हैड विल गो थ्रू द स्लाइड्स विल टेक अ लुक एट वॉट इज हैपनिंग will come to you know terms with the progress of the subject so far what we have done so allow me to share the screen i will let me find out the slides any questions that you want to have uh, asked right now no sir okay let me find out the file first no is the screen visible now yes sir yes sir okay blank screen kyun ho gaya all right so the study of uh, magnetic compass requires a study of shift earth's magnetism also because magnetic compass is all dependent on earth's magnetism we are totally using earth's magnetism so jitna hum mujhe apne compass ke bare mein janna hai utna hi mujhe earth ke magnetism ke bare mein janna hai uske behavior ke bare mein janna hai it is saying the slide says the ship's deviation it is not the ship's deviation actually it is the ship's heading deviation where we are going how the compass is getting deviated because of earth's magnetism why the compass actually tries to point towards the north because of earth's magnetism okay before we go there before we go further we said earth is a magnet because it shows magnetic effect what we are trying to say here that if we suspend a magnet here it is always getting oriented in this line matlab is line pe orient hota hai one end is always pointing to this side incidentally we call that end of the magnet 
the north pole why because that particular particular end which is pointing to the north of the earth we are calling it north pole and the other end which is this end which is pointing to the south side we call the south end but in effect in true sense when we talk about magnetism very rightly you understand that there is a south pole there is a north pole but actually in study of magnetism we call the poles of the magnet as red pole and blue pole there is a blue pole and there is a red pole this is a magnet actually there are two poles one end is red one end is blue so we have in a magnet red pole and blue pole we don't necessarily have north and south pole there north and south is a concept associated with earth's axis that is what we call north and south but since this red end of the magnet is always pointing to north we begin to call it north pole since the blue end of the magnet is pointing to south end so we start calling it south pole so as you can see the red one is the north pole and it is pointing to north pole because it is interacting with the earth's magnetism you understand from your common knowledge that there is interaction between magnets north and south pole attract south and south north and north repel is that okay yes okay so tell me in this given situation in this given situation one second in this given situation why is this red pole pointing in this direction what is the assumption that we should have for the earth's pole agar humne ek assume kiya ki earth mein bhi ek magnetic dipole hai dipole matlab do pole what you are seeing on the left side it has got red and blue two poles are there and we are calling it dipole so we can consider that within the earth also there is a dipole and the magnet that i have in my hand is interacting with that magnetic dipole of the earth so what is the expected situation of the magnetic dipole in the earth within the center of the earth जो हमारी एक्सिस पास हो रही है उसके भीतर में एक मैग्नेट है लेटस कंसीडर दैट दिस इज द मैग्नेट विच पोल शुड बी विच साइड डोंट यू थिंक दैट द रोड रेड पोल विल बी हेयर एंड द ब्लू पोल शुड बी हेयर that is why it apparently it is getting attracted here the red end is attracted to the blue and the blue end is attracted to the red of the earth so actually what we are seeing 
in our concept as we say the magnetic south is in the north of the earth the magnetic south of the earth is actually oriented to the geographic north of the earth and since it is going to be confusing so we keep the understanding separate we deal with the magnets in red and blue pole we deal with the earth's axis or those two locations from where axis is passing as north and south pole then in convention we begin to call the red pole as north pole because this is oriented in this direction north ki taraf hamesha suspend hota hai are we good here yes sir okay so let's read through this magnet name coming from the magnetite which is an oxide of the iron material material iron element fe is iron so fe 3 or 4 is that iron ore basically or the stone and it showed special behavior तो यहाँ टुकड़े टुकड़े में थोड़ा जंपिंग करता हुआ डिस्कशन चलेगा स्क्रीन पे तो एक तो नेचुरली अवेलेबल मैग्नेट थी मैग्नेटाइट व्हाट वी कॉल्ड बट फ्रॉम वेरियस काइंड ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स इट इज अंडरस्टूड दैट मैग्नेट्स कैन आल्सो बी क्रिएटेड आर्टिफिशियली हैविंग नोन दैट द करेंट आर शोइंग मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट so we can create a magnetic field on our free will jab chahe tab bana sakte hain magnetic field aur banate bhi hain yahan se wahan duniya mein har cheez mein ye magnetic field use ho raha hai chahe pankha ho chahe generator ho ya relays ho ye ho wo hazar tarike ki cheez hoti hain everything is using magnetism this magnetism we can create with the electric current and when we can create a magnetic field we bring another ferromagnetic material in this field and try to magnetize other bar of material ferromagnetic material maine ek piece of iron liya usko ek magnetic field mein dal diya bahut der tak wahan pe rehta hai to the piece of iron also becomes magnetized kyun kyunki chote tiny magnets are all getting aligned because of the external magnetizing field the field which is producing the effect that the material is getting magnetized is the magnetizing field so natural and artificial they can be yes but what can be turned into magnet substances may be divided in these three parts ferromagnetic material paramagnetic material and diamagnetic material they are all interacting with the magnetism but in a very very different manner ferromagnetic materials are those which can be magnetized which can retain magnetism not only really magnetized but shows magnetic property for very strongly paramagnetic material hum logo ne baat kiya diamagnetic bhi baat kiya so just take a look at this <clears throat> pointed understanding of three materials paramagnetic materials are also getting attracted by magnetism 
दे मूव फ्रॉम वीकर टू स्ट्रॉगर एरिया मतलब दूर से नजदीक की तरफ जा रहा है मैग्नेट की तरफ बढ़ रहा है मैग्नेट के नजदीक में लाइन्स मैग्नेटिक मैग्नेटिक फील्ड स्ट्रॉन्ग डायमैग्नेटिक मटेरियल ऑन द अदर हैंड इज गेटिंग रिपेल क्रिसमथ फॉस्फोरस जिंक एक्सेट्रा तो द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ मैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंसेस as we saw the two types of magnets natural and artificial so natural to hame asia minor ja ke lana padega agar wahi milta hai to artificial i can make at home or in my factory once i make this magnet for that i need a magnetizing field which i can create by electric current so what i would do i will make a solenoid of a conductor solenoid is basically a greek word for pipe like structure so this is pipe like structure wire made in the form of a spring and i pass a current through this the current passing through this coil the moving charges create a magnetic field around this which extends outside the solenoid also i can place a ferromagnetic material inside this hollow space these lines of forces which are passing through this will try to align all the small tiny magnets in one direction and so when this magnetic field is removed when this magnetic field is removed this paramagnetic material sorry ferromagnetic material starts exhibiting its own magnetism so this becomes a magnet one end will become red other end will become blue so now here we have two poles there is a, an axis which separates the two poles you probably have observed by now that i am representing this magnetic field by these lines i am representing these fields by means of these lines these are imaginary lines to explain the effect of magnetism we are taking help of imaginary assumptions we are saying that this magnetic field of the magnet is can be represented by these lines these lines are very close to each other near as we go it is getting separated they are at a distance away from each other in this area very close near the magnet and that is what we refer to as strength of magnetic field the strength of magnetic field is stronger near the magnet and weak getting weak as we get away from the magnet so once we have understood this lines of forces again they don't exist in the form of line 
we are representing them in the form of line lines and on the basis of this we can also decide or de uh, define what is the magnetic field strength so what we did here was that we converted a magnet i mean ferromagnetic material into a magnet now if we have removed the coil and the current it is still remaining as a magnet and for long period of time then this is a permanent magnet humne ek ferromagnetic material ko परमानेंट मैग्नेट में बदल दिया उसके सारे मॉलिक्यूल्स वैसे ही अरेंज होंगे फॉर लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इट विल कीप ऑन शोइंग दिस बिहेवियर ऑफ मैग्नेटिज्म जैसा ये सब हमने साइड में देखा दैट मैग्नेट फील्ड्स आर क्रिएटेड दे विल रिमेन विद द सब्सटेंस फॉर लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम अनलेस वी हीट इट heat the substance very high at high temperatures or we keep it hammering continuously for long period of time or for whatever time that vibration or heat vibration because of heat the there is movement in the molecules and they start vibrating and then they get deranged so ek magnet ko agar aap garam karenge to uski magnetism jati rahe kyun kyunki chote magnets jo hain wo deranged ho jate but if you keep them like that normal room temperature they will retain the magnetism for long period of time so what we understood now was the permanent magnet the other artificial magnet is induced magnet again same condition we go back again to the same solenoid and the coil we pass a current through this when we pass the current this is becoming a magnet this orange material orange that means the ferromagnetic material becomes a magnet agar maine yahan pe keel rakhi thi it pulls it here but when we stop the current when we remove the current this also goes away this is no longer a magnet this is no longer a magnet koi magnetic effect nahi raha jab tak magnetic field tha tab tak ye magnet raha humne ye field hataya ye magnetism gayi so we are inducing magnetism only for the time when we have this magnetizing field this coil carrying current which is producing a magnetic field is called the magnetizing field so so long as the magnetizing field is there this bar this bar here becomes a magnet as we remove the current the magnetism also gone and that is what we call induced magnetism is it boring itne log bore ho rahe hain no sir sahi sahi chal raha hai yes sir yes sir ha bore ho rahe hoge okay so going forward this is the magnetizing method ek to humne current se magnetize kiya other method can be by bringing the magnetizing field by a magnet so this itself is a magnet yes it is a magnet we are continuously passing this magnet over a non magnet magnet uh, magnetic material but not being a magnet so this side you can see all the 
small magnets are haphazard scattered this way that way but when we keep on passing it over and over again iske upar bar 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 pass karte hain so you can see that this side is getting magnetized all of them are getting arranged after some time all the molecules or most of the molecules of that material will become all aligned in a given direction so the combined effect as you can see all of them are north here this side and all of them are south here this side so this end becomes blue end and this side becomes red end and we start calling it north pole this we start calling south pole why because when you hang it suspended this end will go and point to the north why will it point to the north because the blue end of the earth magnet is on top so red another magnet this magnet the red point goes towards the blue end which is the north side of the geographic earth or geographic north of the earth so magnetization just read through this slide and see if it is appealing to you creating an image in your mind of understanding yes i know what we are talking about okay somebody explain what is the meaning here it says when a piece of metal possesses an external magnetic field the material is said to be magnetized and is known as a magnet very simple sentence but tell me what it is saying what image has been created in the mind so when a ferromagnetic material uh, uh is in cont uh, is under a, a foreign magnetic field or a magnet or from a magnet or from a solenoid current the in, uh, magnetic field induced by a solenoid current then there is a permanent magnetism formed in, in those uh, ferromagnetic material okay you complicated it what it says is a very simple thing if a piece of metal it is showing magnetism outside itself if it is showing magnetic effect outside itself then it is a magnet simply that is what it is saying Oops. every material has molecules which are magnet but every molecule is not showing this properties bahar mein magnetism nahi dikhta hai uske agar bahar mein dikh raha hai if it is seen outside then it is a magnet simple as that that is what it is saying we are not talking about current and external magnetic field oh. and this and that simply said oh. a piece of metal or ferromagnetic material uske bahar mein agar aap experience karte hain magnetism to wo magnet hai simple as that okay sir bachcha wala explanation na yes sir bas magnet ka definition hai हाँ बस उतना ही है एकदम इसीलिए मैंने शुरुआत में ही कही थी इट्स अ सिंपल सेंटेंस बट सी व्हाट काइंड ऑफ इमेज इट इज क्रिएटिंग इन योर माइंड एक लोहे का टुकड़ा पड़ा हुआ है अगर आप कील लगाते हैं वहां पे और चिपक लेता है तो मतलब वो मैग्नेट है सिंपल ये कह रहा है अगर नहीं चिपक रहा तो वो मैग्नेट नहीं है yes. जब पहले हम लोग स्कूल में इलेवेंथ में वो एक्सपेरिमेंट करते थे ना वो स्ट्राइकिंग वाला मैगनेट हाँ एग्जैक्टली exactly. आपने तो किया था बहुत लोगों ने नहीं किया होगा वो एक्सपेरिमेंट भाग लिया होगा सब सिनेमा देखने के लिए नहीं सर वो 
सभी लोगों ने किया होगा सर फिर वो मैग्नेट के लाइंस के लिए जो छोटे छोटे मैग्नेटिक पीसेस हम लोग पेपर वेट्स अलाइन करते थे मैग्नेट्स अलाइन अलाइन हो जाता था यस एग्जैक्टली 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 हां सर नहीं मैंने भी नहीं किया था हां तो ये सब करते तो ये सब समझना आसान होता है और इंटरेस्टिंग भी लगता है ये सब प्रैक्टिकल करने से ये सब चीजें बड़ी बहुत मजा आता है इन, इन सब को पढ़ने में सो हियर व्हाट वी आर सीइंग द इफेक्ट ऑफ अ मैग्नेट इफ वी कीप अ पेपर क्लिप इट इज गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड आइदर व्हिच वे ब्लू साइड और रेड साइड एनी व्हिच वे इट इज गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड सो देयर इज इंटरेक्शन बेसिकली व्हाट हैपेंस कि जब इसके फील्ड में रखते हैं सॉरी जब इसके फील्ड में रखते हैं तो इसमें भी थोड़ी सी मैग्नेटिज्म डेवलप होती है और वो खींच लेता है इसको उल्टा होता है और उसके चक्कर में खींच लेता है देन देर इज इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन टू मैग्नेट्स आल्सो व्हिच वी नो वेरी वेल अनलाइक पोल्स अट्रैक्ट लाइक पोल्स रिपेल red red blue blue will repel red and blue will attract ye bachche wale theory hai but is bachche wale theory ko hum le jayenge compass banane samajhne aur uske behavior ko samajhne read it there are two sorts of magnetic poles we have this pole and we have this pole red and blue see here we are not talking about north and south we are talking about two kinds of magnetic poles red and blue poles because it is aligned in a given manner that we call the red end of the pole magnet to be the north pole so another object is magnetized or not whether it is a magnet or not how can i make sure repulsion is the best method we can also find out the polarity ki uska kya pole hai if i have already मैग्नेट विच इज टेस्टेड फॉर रेड एंड ब्लू पोल दूसरे वाले का नहीं मान जानते हैं तो रिपल्सन अगर हो रही तो वी नो विच एंड इज द रेड पोल और साउथ पोल रेड पोल और ब्लू पोल इंपॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशन फॉर मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल टाइम हो गया सर हाँ टाइम हो गया इट शुड बी अंडरस्टूड वेरी क्लियरली वॉट इज अ मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल डाइपोल मतलब दो पोल एक बार मैग्नेट में अगर दो पोल हैं तो डाइपोल है अगर तीन पोल हो गए जो होता नहीं है अगर तीन पोल हो गए तो ट्राईपोल हो जाएगा वो बट दो पोल होते हैं तो दैट इज मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल 